Hello and welcome to this demonstrational video on the daily maintenance of a Magic Kitchen Charbroiler. In this video we will cover cleaning the top grids, cleaning the outer surface, and cleaning the water tubs. It's important to make sure to wear cleaning gloves while performing the cleaning processes. Using a Magic Kitchen scraper or cleaning brush, remove any large debris that may build up over the course of the day. We do not want to completely clean the top grid. A thin layer of grease or oil is important for cooking, as well as increasing the integrity of the grids. After cleaning the top surface, it's important to turn the top grids over and clean the underside of the grids. This action can be performed on a daily or a weekly basis. On a monthly basis, the factory would recommend completely cleaning the grids in a sink, but remember to re-season the grids. Seasoning is a term used to describe the action of rubbing cooking oil into the rods of the top grids. With a seasoned top grid, product will be less likely to stick to the rods of the grid. Let's move on to cleaning the outer surface of the unit. It is safe to use a degreaser, and remember, the more often you clean the surface, the easier it is to clean it the next time. At least once a day is recommended, but in a high volume store, it may be necessary to wipe the unit down after a lunch rush. On a weekly basis, clean the entire surface of the unit, including the back and the sides. It wouldn't hurt to remove the top grids and clean the back wall or any other surface where grease appears to be building up. For the model SMB equipped with the ceramic stones, it may be necessary to periodically turn over the stones to allow grease buildup to burn off. Remove the cooking top and with a pair of tongs, turn over each stone. Replace the cooking top when finished. Now we're ready to clean the water tubs. Water should always be present in the tubs. The water is what prevents grease fires. At the end of the day, remove all the water tubs drain the water, and give them a good scrubbing with hot water and detergent. Remember, as long as the tubs are cleaned regularly, they will clean easily. Bring the water tubs back empty of any water. Once all the tubs are in place, bring a bucket filled with water over to the tubs. The tubs need only be filled with about a half inch of water. This amount is enough to last the day, prevent grease fires, and is a small enough amount where it isn't difficult to drain at the end of the day.